I like what you said about Jalen Ramsey because he's definitely a top three corner. There's no doubt about that. They may not be the most explosive team in their division because there's still a team called the Buffalo Bills. That's right. That's won that division the last couple of years. And I know they got a top five defense, especially when they're healthy. And Josh Allen is not going to have the kind of interception, mistake-prone turnovers that he had last year. We had 15 interceptions and 22, turn 22 total turnovers. He's not going to turn over that football. And believe me, that offense, when they get going, even without a running game, is very, very explosive. The Dolphins are going to be very creative. We know that Mike McDowell is going to do that. And you're right about Big Fangio. That defense potentially could be a top 10, top 8 defense. But in terms of explosive plays, they're not even the most explosive team in their own division, in my opinion. I'll take Buffalo over them. I'll take Kansas City over them. There's a certain team called Cincinnati. I know they can explode when they play football. And they made the AFC Championship the last couple of years with that guy named Joe Burrow, quarterback, who seems to have more availability than Tua Tungabailoa. Give me those three. I'll take those three over Miami. That's not just a no, Courtney. Respectfully, that's a hell no. Well, They're not going to be the most explosive team in hell. So I'm going to take the Twitter police, the, not yeah. Twitter police, first take police yeah. badge back. The question was not who's the most explosive, mm -hmm. it's the most dangerous team. I know that Kansas City is a dangerous team. Okay. No one needs to explain that to me. I know that the Philadelphia Eagles are a dangerous team, and even the Cincinnati Bengals. They went to a Super Bowl two years ago. I think what we're looking at here in terms of dangerous team, the team that might sneak up on you, and I wouldn't be surprised if they end up winning the AFC East. Right now, oh, I, still, I still have yeah. Buffalo. It's Buffalo's division, it's Buffalo's division. until it's yeah. not. But all of the pieces that are in place show you that they could potentially make that run and say, okay, wait, Miami, we've been waiting. There's been a lot of question marks. Yeah. Oh, wait, they answered those not questions. Not buying it. Mike T? Yeah, the, yeah, the fundamental – Challenge I think Miami has is this. Tua was hurt in college. He's been hurt in the NFL. That's well documented. And you look at their offensive line. While they did bring over Teron Armstead, as Courtney alluded to, he's had durability issues. But the biggest issue is Austin Jackson. He's their projected right tackle, which as a left-handed quarterback, that's the blind side to Tua. He only played in two games a year ago. They moved on from Mike Gusecki, which means to me they're going to even try to be more receiver dominant, which they have two great receivers, but it's going to come down to protections as it relates to Tua, his blind side, and Austin Jackson's durability. And when I agree with Freddie, I think Cincinnati, certainly Kansas City, but I think Cincinnati, when you look at quarterback, skill players, and offensive line, which to me is the most critical component to having an explosive offense, I give Cincinnati the most completeness of all those teams. And it's going to be a lot of fun to watch the AFC because we can make an argument for Buffalo. We haven't even talked about Aaron Rodgers. But to me, the biggest vulnerability for, for Tua and the Dolphins is going to be the right tackle position, how well Austin Jackson plays, and how durable he is. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.